Joined once again by Dr. Matthew Devine, the Medical Director for Accountable Health Partners in Highland Family Medicine. Doctor, good morning. Good morning. Our topic today uh, is the importance of exercise at home during this COVID-19 outbreak. We got to keep moving, right? Yeah, that's right, Mark. I think with the world feeling a bit out of control right now, now is the perfect time to really get in charge of your health by building exercise into your schedule. All right, so the obvious question here, what can we do to try to stay fit when our options are limited? Yeah, so I think the biggest thing to remember is similar to even pre-global pandemic is you know regular exercise involves cardiovascular activity which is about 30 minutes per day and then you also want to incorporate twice a week strengthening into that as well i think that both of those things combined really help to prevent weight gain they can help boost your mood and they can really keep you uh, healthy and out of the emergency rooms and other places that you wouldn't want to be all right, now we see lots of people out walking, folks running and jogging as well. But sometimes, like this morning, Mother Nature just doesn't want to cooperate or, or it's pouring rain. So if we're stuck indoors in our houses, what can we do? Yeah, there's actually quite a bit of things that you can do. Even if you don't have exercise equipment in your house, there is um, things like house walking where you can kind of continue to try to work on how many steps you can get throughout the day as well as various apps that are available on mobile devices as well as other items uh, looking online um, using areas of your house to kind of focus on things like yoga and other things that you can use some stretching and strengthening you know, and we can't not forget uh, our children in this scenario as well. They are home. A lot of times they're watching TV or playing video games. We got to keep them moving as well, don't we, doctor? You're right, Mark. That's critical. And I think actually trying to do some of that exercise together as a family helps to even motivate them a little bit more. You know, what about like an impromptu uh, dance party? You know, humor actually can help improve our immune system as well. So there's lots of ways that, that can get involved. YouTube has live feeds of exercise programs for kids every day as well. So there are lots of opportunities for kids and families to stay fit throughout this. Uh, if you can, summarize it in our remaining seconds here what a daily routine in terms of a workout might look like from home so I think the biggest thing to summarize is that try to build a schedule that works for yourself uh, don't try to be overly strenuous if you haven't been active before you got to kind of build your way into this a little bit there are lots of things that you can do both outside and at home that are safe and obviously the whole point of this is to continue to stay fit and as healthy as possible you can do it. <laughs> and you can as well. Doctor, thank you. Uh, really important advice. We got to keep moving and we appreciate it as always. If you missed thank any you. of our conversation, as always, we will have it online in uh, just a little bit. You'll find it posted at rochesterfirst.com.